program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Wow, what an open here. I think we're going to ruffle some feathers at NBC. I don't know about you, Betty, but, uh, we, you know, we, we got to work Betty in, and branding is a big thing these days. And a lot of you have uh, commented that you want to see Betty a little higher up here in the show. I don't know if that means earlier in the newscast or higher up on a pedestal, but uh, we're doing the best we can here. And thank you, by the way, for all... Oh, I was playing around with a cat. I'm working at home because of social distancing. And the uh, my cat, Betty, walked in and... Our director saw it, you know, off air, and he said, oh, pick the cat up. Oh, cute, you know, so I picked the cat up, and I'm whooping it around. And, <laughs> and so you got that video, and then Caleb, our director, said, oh, show her on TV. So I thought, eh, I don't know about that. This will just, it, it won't end well. And because I figured the cat would freak out, you know. Yeah. So anyway, she was in mellow mood, so I picked her up, and I held her during the, just the last weather, the 30 seconds there at the end. And it was kind of a funny picture, so I took a screenshot and I posted it on my professional page. I do that stuff all the time. The cat's been on there before. Well, I don't know who saw it or what they thought, but poof, the next, like three days later, I'm hearing from all my family, my younger uh, nieces and nephews, you're all over Reddit. And I'm like, who's Reddit? You know, what's Reddit? And, uh, oh man, you know, you're trending. And, and so and my daughter, who's 21, oh, you're trending on Reddit. So they, they actually think I'm cool, uh, you know, briefly. But anyway, so that's what happened. I, I held her up just on a lark, screenshotted it, put it on the internet, and then it went from there. I've heard from Perth, Australia, and I Googled it. I, couldn't, I, mean, I knew where Perth was, but I didn't know the mileage. And so it's 11,000 miles away, right, if you go, if you fly west. Um, I've heard from uh, Johannesburg, South Africa, that's pretty far flung, Russia, uh, Latvia, Canada, lots of Canadians, Australia, Tasmania, New Zealand, and, and almost universally women uh, responding back who are on all of these cat sites, and, and men too, but, but I would say 99% are women. And they're cat owners. And cat owners, right. And so in addition to hearing from these far-flung places, I'm getting pictures of cats that inundate my email or my Facebook feed. You know, here's, here's Doris, our cat, who enjoys watching Betty, and it'll be a picture of a cat watching our cat. <laughs> I don't know. It, I think people right now, the news is awfully dark, and uh, it's just something different. And and it's, it's, it's warm and fuzzy, literally, and, and people just identify with it for whatever reason. It's been a lot of fun just to uh, kind of do old school weather in a new way. My daughter wanted a cat many years, 11 years ago, and I really wasn't down with having another cat. We'd had them over the years, and I was just kind of done. We had small kids running around the house and, you know, smeared up windows and the whole thing. And, and I, I said, it's kind of like the parents will see. I said, well, if we're meant to have a cat, one will show up, and one showed up, and that's Betty. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm very grateful that I could do one tiny, tiny thing to, you know, make people smile. As you can see, she's humbled, I think. No, maybe not. We have.